So I genuinely love our open table theology where um, anyone and everyone is uh, welcome to this table. And it's this idea that um, no matter who you are, no matter what you've done, no matter who you love, how you love, or what shade your skin is, what color your hair is, what your family situation is like, your socioeconomic status, whatever, you are invited to this table. This idea that Jesus calls people from the corners and margins of society here to the center to share and give that love, that family. Um, I think that is what I love the very most about our United Methodist Church is that open table theology. So my hopes for the United Methodist Church are that we continue to be uh, people of God in a way that we continue to shine Christ's light through all that we say and do, that we continue to um, live into the social holiness that we are called to do to um, create justice, right? To live with compassion with one another, that we um, step into those vulnerable spaces with those who are um, in the LGBT and ally community, with those who are, um, who are discriminated against because of the color of their skin or where they are from or what language that they speak, um, that we step into those spaces and let God's light continue to shine through us so that others can see God's face. So one thing that I've seen throughout the last couple of years is that uh, like this idea of social distancing, right? But what's been so neat over the last couple of years is we have been able to live into our connectional identity as a United Methodist Church. And we have been able to do that in Sherman in so many wonderful ways. We have a Facebook group um, for LGBT and ally communities so that they can uh, share and engage in that space and know that they are beloved children of God. We also have these small groups right now that are growing and thriving in so many ways. So even though we had to do things very separately for a while, uh, we have been able to remain connected. And that's my hope moving into the future is that those small groups continue to grow, that God continues to plant seeds in those spaces and that um, that God's kingdom can flow forth through conversation and connection in brand new ways. 